and at him. I'm Jack Tomczak. That's Andrew Lee. Good like morning. Turtles. Morning. Good morning. Morning. What are you so? Not a single thing I'm he said is accurate. Bothered. Bothered about. I have a travel mug of coffee that I bring in. It's got a very secure lid on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Show it to the to the video. The people for, who will watch this video later. at 9 that's 30 it. tonight once they get done I mean, playing it is, together. It's on there tight. It's a lid. Like when I bring this home, if I don't uh, take the lid off and rinse it out right away, if I like leave it on the counter, my wife will come home and she'll try to get the lid off and she can't. She always has to bring it to me because I, I, yeah. I, I tighten it. I'm, I a, a, I'm a strong of, man. I have a lot of trouble getting it open when I go to fill it for you. Yeah? Yeah. I, have a lot I of just try to open it so then I can more fully appreciate your strength as a man. And I'm I'm getting my uh, I'm, I'm I'm changing the paper and the printer, uh, making sure that every, my all, all my news bag printed out, mm -hmm. and I'm holding it like this while right. I'm while I'm changing under the your paper. arm between your ample bosom and your <laughs> right. yeah. I've got it I've got it cradled like a baby mm -hmm. in my arm, and I'm and changing the paper, and it spilled like all over my news bag and my shirt, with a lid on it. Huh. I have no idea how that happened. Very well. It came it came out through the. Through the, the hole, drinking hole. The hole that you drink out of? Yeah. So we... I didn't feel like I was... I wasn't Figured leaning. it out. I wasn't tilting or anything. Mm -hmm. You must have been. <sighs> it didn't just leap out so of your cup. I got cup. coffee all over my shirt. Good. <laughs> Why? Why is that good? Yeah. Because <laughs> now you're in distress. No, because now I'm going to take it off. Oh. I'm doing the show shirtless. <laughs> Crank down no! the AC. No! No! Let's no. do this. No! No! <laughs> so, Your, you pulled my up, morning's off to a wonderful start. You pulled up 10 minutes <laughs> shy on that coffee lid rant. There are expectations around <laughs> right, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that needs to go on. Uh huh? <laughs> on the show today, Ted Cruz is in town, but he's not coming in. But we're going to talk about him. <laughs> okay. I tried. They said no. Yeah. Well, he's come to town. When Jeb Bush has come to town. How come these people don't want to be on the most popular and influential show that happens to be broadcast on the 1130 frequency? Well. During 6 to 9. They ain't got no time for us. Apparently not. How we would, if we went to a town to give a speech or to do whatever in the evening, we would roll in earlier. Maybe go grab a meal, check into a hotel room. We would do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They fly in, they drive to the thing, they speak, they drive back, they fly away. What, they don't have phones? No. No, actually. <laughs> That's something that, um, from my campaign experience, I can tell you, they don't have phones. They don't have phones. Not. Actually, they might not. Oh, you know, they're, they're, they're busy, and, and I, think, um, I think they look at not all candidates, but most candidates and most campaign, most staffers look at, Media as well, it could work out. It right. could also tank the whole operation. Yeah. So let's uh, let's let's do as little as possible. Let's do yeah. just what we need. Yeah, and then we won't run the risk of saying something stupid. Mm -hmm. Although Ted Cruz is pretty, he's not really the okay. We're I get it. Going to talk <laughs> about some of the things Ted Cruz has said, and uh, we'll let the listeners uh, tell us if it's funny or weird. At 7.40, Glenn Bolger with Public Opinion Strategies in to talk about a new poll they have on the Sandpiper Pipeline. At 8, Kevin Magnuson, he's with the Minnesota Jobs Coalition, he's the head of that organization, in to talk about a complaint uh, they filed against corrupt DFL State Representative Joe Atkins, mm -hmm. and it's being investigated, so mm -hmm. uh, things are afoot there. And at some point today, oh, I'm sure Christmas that'll see Andrew's mandatory list. I'm sure it'll completely blow up and be a huge scandal. Oh, wait. No, they'll just. Like, we have an actual a DFL lawmaker that is actually tied in with stealing taxpayer money that is that was directed to go to a nonprofit. You have taxpayer money that is that is uh, that is earmarked to go to provide heating assistance to the poor. You've got a DFL senator who has his hands completely in that pot, uh, using that money for personal mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. personal gain, and nothing's come of that. No. So no. What, what would it take for an actual scandal to actually harm the political future I, I of a DFL lawmaker in I Minnesota? Don't I don't know. Uh, 
smaller. We should play that game sometime. Like, smaller, less, uh, less. Come up with scenarios that might actually impact. Like, okay. Let's say um, a person mm -hmm. is a Republican, goes to Republican meetings, caucuses, that kind, that kind of thing. Uh, then they find themselves invested in a piece of property where folks want to put a train station. So that person, her state representative is the person who's standing in the way of this train that would put a station on their property. So this person switches parties, spends over $100,000 to beat the person who's in the way, mm -hmm. does so, mm -hmm. authors to be able to put a train there, mm -hmm. and has it like on her land. Yeah. Like right. runs for office to make her land more valuable. All hypothetical. No, Denise Dietrich, DFL no, out but of But this uh, actually champion. happened. Yeah. 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 And, and I believe I, I believe the guy that, that that ran against her and got crushed is sitting across from me. Yes. <laughs> right. uh, Phyllis Khan, delightful lady, but she did steal a piece of literature off of somebody's uh, front step. It's not murder, right, but it right. happened, and there's no shame there. No, there is one DFLer, uh, Lauren Jennings. But, you know, exchange some documents in a park, right? And suddenly, that's the you know, it blows up in everybody's face. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> okay, not a but specific. Yeah. Just exchanging uh, documents, man. DFL State Representative uh, Lauren Jennings years and years and years ago, like 15, 10, 15, had some type of deal where he had authored a bill that would get him some money through telephone poles. And he ended up going to jail. Really? That's like the last one. Hmm. Basically, you, know, you can get away with almost anything in this state. Mm -hmm. Paul Thiessen killed a guy. No, <laughs> He did not. No, Don't he did not say that on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> the rules against Paul, T Paul Thiessen for his, you know, as much as Likely. I might disagree with him, very nice man. Yes, yes, and he, he's come <laughs> on the show, and as far as we know, hasn't. As far as we know, Allegedly, I don't like to make he definitive, is not a murderer. definitive statements either way if I don't have actual proof. I enjoyed my last day with Twin Cities <laughs> News Talk Game 11 30. I'd like to thank all the people at iHeartMedia. It was, it was a good, Andrew. It was Long. a good run. Thank you. It was a good run. It was 40% uh, of most the average run of, of a morning show here, so mm -hmm. not bad. You almost made it half the average. Getting there. <laughs> all right, let's take a break. We'll come back with a news bag, and I reveal. The big deal I got to fill in for Andrew tomorrow.